that's the end of the video guys it's been your boy most spin the outro oh, nice So if you haven't seen this show, it's called Severance. It's on Apple TV Plus. It's not an ad. It's just, it's honestly come out recently, like episode every week, and it's so good, bro. It's my favorite show this year, right? And it shows Apple TV Plus as a contender for Netflix. Because if it brings out a show like this, and like the new one that's come out now, that's Slow Horses, it just shows that they, you know, they're bringing up the game. Only thing about Apple TV Plus, the worst thing about it is their player. I mean, BBC iPlayer, if you know what that is has recently updated their player to make it work better because it's like if it's hard for normal people like me who are like this age how are old people meant to do it in it because it's just it's just annoying it just doesn't make sense obviously they can't copy netflix but make it easier to do stuff yeah starting off with severance i just think it's a it's a it's a masterpiece already it's already been one season and it ended so well, I think, how many was there? Eight episodes altogether, I think. And it starts off with this mystery of this girl on the table. It sets off really well. It's just people in suits like this. And I just love shows like that. And they've, they've done the people in suits plus the mystery of this like underground office and the severance thing where people are severed. There's people who can explain it better, but that's just my little explanation because I need to you know, go over everything. Yeah, and the scenes after that, where it shows the main character, Mark, where he walks into Lumen, and just the scenes on the camera work is so well done. Like I probably put some footage up now, but it's like just so symmetrical. And as I saw that, I was like, this is already my favorite show without even seeing like any of the episodes or the, any of the other characters, just, you know. And the cool thing about it, when you see Mark's life, the main character's life outside of Lumen, it's like all unsymmetrical. And like how I did some shots before where it's like downstairs, how I'm like off to the right and it's all like unsymmetrical. Inside Lumen, it sh it's trying to show that everything's perfect on the ground. But then when you go to real life, you have to deal with things in real life and everything in your life. Like he has to deal with his, it's not a spoiler because you see it in the first episode. He has to deal with his wife's death. And you know, he's, that's why I took the job to like, you know, so he doesn't have to spend the whole day grieving about her. Another thing that's really cool about the show is every actor plays their character perfectly. Like obviously it's not perfect, but it's just so well done. Like every character, you can just see that they've, you know, put everything into it and the script is so well written. There's no like little crappy lines or anything that doesn't make sense or doesn't line up the story. Like you know all these other shows nowadays that are big, but then they've got really, really bad writing and scripts and stuff and the characters just don't know how to play them properly. Like one example of an actor is Jared Leto, who, he absolutely decimated the role of Joker in a bad way, where it just didn't go down the well. And then the new Marvel one, which I can't remember the name of because it's so relevant. But yeah, every single character plays a role so well. All the bad guys are good. I mean, they play the good, they play the bad role good where it's not. But some of them, it's like you don't know if they're bad or good because you still at the end you don't know what, fully what's going on, which is amazing. The mystery is just can't compare to anything else nowadays. Yeah, also the mystery doesn't dissolve over time. It becomes more like intriguing, which is how it's how it should be in it. Because like most shows, it's just like the mystery goes downhill, downhill, and then just everyone loses interest. But with this show, right then you're just thinking, oh, one more, one more, one more, and more mystery, more mystery. And it's not like it's not like it's piling on, just going boom, 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 this thing, that thing, that thing. It's not that. It's just the perfect amount of mystery, perfect amount of characters and storyline and everything that's going on and bad guys and everything. Which who are they're not really like shown as bad guys where like they kill people and stuff like that which you have to watch it so i don't want to spoil everything 
Also, another thing that's really cool is the show doesn't tell the viewer like everything. It just gives it little hints. And you know how, on some in some cases where they they show the viewer the whole side of the bad guy, which they're doing this, but only a little bit, like not their full what's going on and everything, which I think is done really well. So it means that the viewer can put like their own perspective and opinion on the story itself, which I think is probably the best way because then the viewers is like feel like the they're in the story themselves, which is probably the best part of storytelling. Obviously nothing's perfect, but with this show, after watching it, couldn't even find anything to nitpick. Like there's nothing that's really bad about this. It's just all so good and well done. I mean, it really is a contender for Netflix. I mean, if they keep adding shows like this, like the first one that was really good, that brought my attention to Apple TV Plus was Ted Lasso. It's really good comedy, you gotta watch that. Yeah, definitely not an ad for Apple TV, I'll tell you that. But yeah, I just feel like it's just got a perfect balance of everything, like I've already said. Like nothing to nitpick. The only thing I nitpick, which is just you know, it's nothing to do with anything they've done. I just at the end, I just wanted a little bit more because it's like it just cuts off for the moment where you're like, oh, you're at the bloody climax, and then it just shuts it off. So see you next year. But yeah, even though they, they they don't fully pay it off, the payoff is still really good because it it ends a lot of stuff, but also starts more mystery, more part of the story, which you need for a second season, which will bring more people in. Yeah, it's not like they close the book and start a new one, which they do in most shows. Like, you know, Stranger Things, where everyone's saying, well, some people say that it should have ended with season one or two, because every time they close a book and then start a new one, and then, you know, there's more other stuff happening. It's still kind of part of it, but it's like, shows where it just keeps going on and on and on. It just doesn't bode well. Like, with this, it's perfect. But yeah, there's not really much more I, mean, I need to say about the show it's just it just is a masterpiece in itself i mean the only way you can see that is from watching it yourself not from me telling you how it is because i'm just a random ass guy in it so it's a masterpiece go watch it it's not an it's not an ad for apple tv plus i promise you it's not i won't be getting an ad with the 20 subscribers bro no shot no shot let me know if you like the skit the start it could have been better but just try it out and yeah it's been your Ramos. see you next video it's been the outro bruv